Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we have another viewer request from Mi Amigo, El Pana Miguel, Tutorialis Hakasin, and he wants to say, see rather Uruguay play the United States. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now while we load. I would greatly appreciate it. Miguel wants to see this played in Montevideo at the Campeon del Silio. Stadium does feature in the virtual red patch that I use, and there's a look at it. It's the home of Club Atletico Peñarol. Look at these two sides. This is going to be an awesome matchup. There it is, the two sides. Take the pitch. Let's take another look around the Campeon del Silio, the home of Peñarol, and Montevideo before we pause for the national anthem. Size prepare for kickoff. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Uruguay, they line up in a 4 4 2 potent strike pairing of Edinson Cavani and Luis Suarez. De La Cruz and Valverde in the edge midfielders, Torreira and Benta Cruz central midfield. Diego Godin anchors a strong back four with Fernando Mussolari and goal for the US of A. It's a 4 3 3. Jesse Zard is up top, Christian Pulisic and Paul Oriol on the wings. Weston McKinney, Sebastian Legette, and Michael Bradley in the midfield. John Brooks anchors the back four, and Zach Steffen in goal. We're going to use an Adidas Cressava ball today. And we are underway for Montevideo, Uruguay, Campion del Silio, home of Club Atletico Peñero. Uruguay, hosting the United States of America. Very well face off in the knockout rounds of the FIFA World Cup 2022 in Qatar. Whoa! There's a goal from Jesse Zardes. A quick one from the United States, ninth minute. This is Artes, frankly, one in a, a bit of a revolving door of strikers. Whether he will be the man when the time comes, we shall find out. We're here for this preview, he gets the start and he rewards the decision. Of course, he's got Noah DK and a number of other strikers. That's probably that position is probably the largest question mark, but certainly not the only one for the United States. We've got Josh Sargent that may be in there when the time comes. Jesse Zardes gets the start today, and he scores. Jesse Zardes got most of the caps in the Gold Cup this summer. Strike the position, and the United States went on to win that competition, so certainly one of the player again between him Daryl DK Josh Sargent and other youngsters hard to say who's going to be in that striker role when Qatar rolls around 
going with experience today as we take on Uruguay. Michael Bradley wins possession, sends it forward. Uruguay have some questions of their own, a very strong side, but also a, a pretty aged side, particularly with the strikers there. Cavani and Suarez, a bit long in the tooth, Diego Godin, Ruslera, a number of others. So Uruguay may also look pretty different when the time when Qatar rolls around. Both these sides may look like they do now, or they may look totally different. It's a bit of a, they're both in the, uh, for different reasons in a, in a little bit of a place of uncertainty with respect to the squad. Luis Suarez not having a great season at Atletico Madrid. After a monster season last season, this season not looking great. But he's still one of my favorites. I love this Uruguay side. Of course, I love the United States. That's where I'm from. So, Rodrigo Bentacur recently moved from Juventus to Tottenham Hotspur. It's called for the foul in central midfield. Michael Bradley. Chance for a direct strike. Plays it off to Pulisic. Back to Bradley. Ariola. He's another player that, when the time comes, is he still doing it for the U.S.? Has some, some injury history, significant injury history, and also again getting getting older, as we all are. Right? Zach Steffen clears it over the touch line. Still 1 0 to the U.S. on the early goal from Jesse Zardes. Ball in for Cavani, what a strike! Oh, just a little bit high. If he had got, been able to get a little more dip on that, that corner was open. Boy, he chests it and just misses what would have been one of the best bicycle strikes I've ever seen. Edson Cavani, the Manchester United man. First half, muted response from the Campion del Cilio, Uruguay down 1-0. Here they go from Jesse Zardes. And let's take a look at our halftime stats. Shot apiece, but the United States have had much better the possession, and they do have the goal advantage. They will kick off the second half. Let's see. Get any changes from either side here? Certainly no changes in personnel. Doesn't appear immediately that there's any change in tactics from either side. Certainly not the formation, at least. Both sides. I want to try to get forward a bit more. Create more chances. One shot a half. Certainly for Uruguay, probably not going to cut it. I guess if the U.S. defend well enough, it could, but at this point, since they already have the advantage. Ooh, the cross actually deflected friendly fire there. That's going to be a goal kick to Uruguay. The Arascaita coming on for Dela Cruz. Talented edge midfielder for talented edge midfielder. I probably would have started the Skyton on the right edge. If it were me, uh, managing Uruguay today.
Cachuero, the Galatasaray keeper, boots it out. Ventacur ahead for Valverde. Looking for Cavani in the box. Stefan clears it. Diarascaita over to Ventacur. Uruguay so strong up the middle. The strike pair, central midfield, central defense, and Muslera. They're not exactly slouches on the edges either. The likes of the Aris Kaiten, Benapuz, in the midfield in particular. forward. Cavani, here's the equalizer in stoppage time. Not a moment too soon for Uruguay, a big equalizer. Looking goals in this one, the U.S. scored very early and Uruguay equalized very late. Champion Del Cilio likes this. Pick this up for Cavani. Around a couple defenders. Nice move there. You can see the disappointment of John Brooks there, the Pittsburgh defender smacking the pitch. Kamani, watch this move as he turns back on wall. Whoop! And what a chop. And then the strike. A great chop from Kavani. It sends long the wrong way. It puts the ball in space on his shooting boot. It curls it. Around Stefan inside the far post. That was gorgeous from Edson Cavani. And this one ends in a draw. A goal apiece. Lava Jimenez, a couple of your central defenders there. They are going to hug it out. High fives is good enough, I suppose. Godin there at the end. Let's take a look at our highlights. Ninth minute, Sebastian Legette. It's Jesse Zardes. He holds off Jimenez and beats Muslera. Very early 1-0 lead to the U.S. in the ninth minute for number nine. Well, at least for now. <laughs> Talked about that at length earlier. We'll see who it is when the time comes. It may not be Mr. Zardes. 45th minute, Edinson Cavani has a chance here. Holds off John Brooks. The first touch with the chest and a big bicycle kick towards an open corner. He's just high. And then in stoppage time, Long is all over him. A big chop sends Long the wrong way. Gives him space. The ball in a shooting boot curls it around Stefan inside the far post. And that's it from the Campeon del Silio in Montevideo, Uruguay. What a match. Uruguay won. U.S. won. Woo! Enjoy the video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please take a moment to do that right now. I'd greatly appreciate it. A big, big thank you to mi amigo El Pana Miguel Tutorialis Hakasin for the request. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I hope you did as well. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. We'll see you next time.